morning everyone so today is video 8 I think and it's like 5 o'clock 5.30 in the morning see more wrapped up by some warmth and we're going out on safari so yeah hopefully get to see some pretty cool stuff Here. I don't know where everyone's gone. Maybe in here. Look at the state of that. You couldn't fight one day, could you? You had to say something. I could say something like a really positive voice. You can't see it because it's so dark. <laughs> Here they all are. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, 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 morning. morning. you're already filming. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> what was that? You're already filming. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, I started, oh, I started like, sitting down in bed. That's what I do. Yep. So today, this is the good team, which is Graham, Emma, Jamie, and him. And then over there, that's the not the good team, which is the driver, Jochen, Mira. Oh, I can't remember the, I can't remember the names is that early. Rudy, Howard, Steph. Danny and Jess. This is the last time that we see Stiff. He's going to be fed to the lion. guys ready? Yep. yep. <laughs> okay, our first animal is the um, tallest mammal in the world. Um, the giraffe. You see these small birds on these trees? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We call them our oh, red bull quilia. Look how many are they from here. You see the black birds? With the white white stripes? No, the black one. Oh yeah, on the, yeah. Um, that's a very interesting bird. I call it the fork tail drongo. Okay. This bird has the ability to mimic other birds. The reason why they call it the fork tail drongo, look on its tail. It yeah. looks like a fork. Yeah. So this bird can mimic any other bird if you want to. And um, you cut. see this bush here? Mm. These bushes on the ground. Now, I don't know if you guys saw in the road, there's a lot of them in the road. Yeah. They, um, they call it the, well, we call it the elephant lolly. <laughs> because an elephant will, because it's a raisin bush. The raisin bush, then the elephant will um, break it off, then he will eat the bark, or he will eat the bark of the um, um, stick, and he will just throw it in the road. Oh. And we have to go pick it up. <laughs> it's like having, a, like having a big child, isn't it? Yeah. You know. In Botswana itself, there's um, 150,000 elephants wow. in Botswana. It's where the biggest free roaming elephants are. 23,000 square kilometers. There can be um, two elephants on one square kilometer. Oh. Two to three elephants. That's a lot. Yeah. So, so just imagine the Kruger National, the Greater Kruger is three and a half million hectares. Hey, wow. One hectare is a uh, football field, a soccer field. Wow. So it's huge, will, it's just mind boggling numbers, isn't it? It's yeah, huge. they will just push over any tree. They won't even eat it. Because they can. Yeah. Not but, all the trees are the fibers. Yeah. yeah. They eat the, from a ruler tree, they eat the um, bark. Then they kill the 
three because then it's ring barking. As yeah. soon as you uh, take the um, bark off and you hurt the tree, then the tree is going to die. Yeah. And then all these juices is coming out and it's going to die. <laughs> I will show you guys a Marilla tree and you guys now will tell you um, what they use for Marilla tree. It's quite interesting. Oh, okay. That would be cool. This is huge. This is a Marilla tree. If we get closer to one, we'll see in the bark, looks like a golf ball that was hit repeatedly against the bark. You will see the dent marks. And interesting, you guys are familiar with, are you guys familiar of the Amarula yeah. alcohol? Oh yeah. It's made of the, Amar of the Amarula fruit. If you take a female Marilla's bark off and its leaves, bark or leaves, then you um, make it in a tea, then um, she will drink it and they believe she's gonna get a daughter. Okay. Yeah, and so the tree chooses the gender of your baby? Yeah, yeah. that's what they believe. Yeah. And. Um, <coughs> If it's a male marula, they say then they will take um, the bark or the leaves and they will make a tea again. Then the people, the other people, will believe that they're gonna get their boy. Huh. And this tree next to us, um, they call it a red bush willow. It's dead. And you see on the bark, you see that um, ground sand on it. Yeah. yeah. It's termites. Yeah, I've seen one of those at another place that it was like it was like a huge mound that it consumed like half of the tree. It was being swallowed by it basically. Yeah, um you um normally our uh, termites work, it's quite interesting. They will now termites germinate seeds. Yeah. So you will often see where a tree comes up in a termite mound. Yeah. Because that in termites, in a uh, group of termites, you get the soldiers, you get the workers, and you get the king and queen. Yeah. Now the workers are especially built, built to build the uh, ant hill. Yeah. To build it with saliva and sand and leaves, sticks. Yeah. But the soldiers are built for they have um, stronger mouth parts yeah. to protect them yeah and then you get the king and queen they are normally under the um termite mount they're just making the babies basically yeah. aren't they so they just i would be one of them if i had to pick <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, oh as i was saying about this now the termites will make that and they will start eating the tree from the outside yeah. and in then you will see um, the tree will break off easily and you will see um, it's not like it's hollow yeah it's hollow inside yeah then um, the tree's not gonna grow again no. they killed it yeah they killed it but they're also doing good if they do that they take these seeds then they disperse them yeah I guess then they then the then new life is born then another tree comes out circle of life so it's it? <laughs> yeah. So every negative there comes a positive. Yeah. And you see these and in South Africa you get have you guys heard of the little five you get in South Africa? The little five, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get the big five and you get the little five. Can't okay. What the little five is. <coughs> little five is ant lion, yep. leopard tortoise, buffalo weaver, elephant shrew, and rhino beetle. Okay. Now Ant lion, you see these holes in the ground. Put your finger on. <laughs> no, it's not gonna do anything. Now these holes are made by ant lions. Yeah. And interesting, if an uh, um, ant falls in there, then the uh, ant lion feels something is disturbing. Is you can feel the sand coming down. Yeah. And it will come out. It will grab the ant and it will push him. Drag it in. Yeah. And they also, if the ants are on the, um, on the collar of it, they will throw sand at the ant and get them to, like, to tumble in as well. 
if you've ever I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's true. But... I'm I'm into I'm not here for the big five. I'm, I'm here I'm here for those. Uh, I'm, I'm here for spiders and creepy crawlers. Oh. That's my thing. Yeah. And Elephants and rhinos are great, but <laughs> spiders and bugs. Oh, that's what like I'm all about. That's what I'm here for, yeah. I can tell you I don't like spiders. Oh, okay. I'm arachnophobic. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was about to say, where would you find the, uh, where's the baboon spiders? But uh, well, I'm guessing you wouldn't be pointing me for any of those. <laughs> well, under rocks normally, or into the ground, then you will see a, normally you will see a web in the ground. Yeah. Like a silk web. Yeah. And in South Africa, Talking about spiders, in South Africa you get we get dangerous spiders. I think we get six of them. Six in South Africa deadly spiders. You get the black button spider, yep. brown button spider, sack spider, the violin spider, the six eyed six eyed sand. Yeah, six sand eyed spider. Yeah. sand spider. Um, it's a spider that is in the sand. Have you seen that video about the spider? Oh no, he can't see me, yeah. he can't see me then. He dogs down again. Now, um, interesting fact about those spiders, they are not, they don't have to eat for a long period of time. No. So they have a very slow... They don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's lie there. <laughs> yeah. So they are, it's quite interesting spiders. Yeah, so that's... That's that's my sort of area, to be fair. So. Okay, I will that's... find you some bugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't go your way to look for any. You know, it's fine. It's, but, uh... I'll try to find you a rhino beetle. Yeah, I actually uh, I breed those back at home. Uh, rhino beetle. Uh, yeah, beetles and tarantulas. That's... Oh. <laughs> I want to go to your house. <laughs> oh, the invitation's in the post as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, I got goosebumps. Now. Do you have a and you see that green bush there? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, that green bush there, they call it a guari bush. Now, um, now, if you take the leaf and you just nibble on it, you guys are familiar with um, tannin. Mm -hmm. Tannin is a, well, I wouldn't say poison, but a substance that if you nibble on it, it makes your mouth dry. Okay. Like so, no animal eats from a guari. No animal. No. Because, um, because the animals, during the dry seasons, a guari is always green. Always. Because nothing eats it. Nothing eats it. And in, during the dry seasons, there's some animals that will eat it then they will die yeah because then the uh, water will dried up and they don't have any water to drink so then they die I see where the bull that is a bigger bull Oh, dude. I'm actually making the perfect sort of short amount. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Very close. Feel sorry for them. You do. Yeah, because look what they must eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay, then my new talk now. Mm. I have to do this. Then I'm gonna start the vehicle. 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 Ready? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Make yourself a bigger. <laughs> <laughs> 